Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. In the last hours, top mom Casey Anthony in a Florida courtroom in full ankle shackle. While top mom is in court, ironically, primly dressed, demure and proper, nearly 100 stunning hidden photos discovered. God, I just want to go home. <laughs> Casey Anthony in the courtroom. It's a big decision day for the judge. We're even calling witnesses today. What else was in the trunk of that car? Residues of dirt, several pieces of hairs. I observed what appears to be uh, a stain. I got within three feet of my daughter's car. The worst odor that she could possibly smell. Very modest ensemble. She has the sweater on, hair pulled back, not much makeup, the light purple shirt. We're tired of the lies. No more lies. What happened to Kaylee? I don't know. I just want to be with you guys. I just want to help find her. We weren't allowed to process anything in that car. He found 17 hairs. And then on top of that, he found several stains. The bug specialist and maggots found in the car. Was there anything else sent to him? Maggots in preservation solution. There was pizza full of maggots and all kind of stuff. An odor that was very, very, very strong. There was a bag of pizza for, what, 12 days in the back of the car full of maggots. It stunk so bad. You know how hot it's been. Once we get Kaylee, everything else will figure itself out. Straight out to Mark Williams with WNDB News Talk 1150. Mark, explain. Well, greetings from Orlando. We're on Orange Avenue right across from the courthouse where Casey Anthony showed up here a couple of hours ago for a hearing. She was wearing a cardigan sweater, a uh, purple shirt under that. George and Cindy Anthony, her parents were here. But Jose Bias took a couple of people to school today. That's her defense attorney. He revealed that his forensic expert, Dr. Henry Lee, uncovered 17 additional hairs and some stains that Orange County Sheriff's investigators overlooked. But Nancy, the most salacious part of this, of course, the uh, your staff uncovering about 100 additional photos of Casey Anthony parting. In one of those pictures, a tattooed man uh, grabbing the right breast of Casey Anthony. Also, Casey Anthony licking a burrito, and she was touching tongues with another woman. But there are other photos also, Nancy. I am just too embarrassed to tell you about them. Okay, uh, Mark Williams, I assume that some of these are the photos that have uh, heretofore been unreleased. Let me ask you this, Mark. We know that many of these yeah. photos were posted after little Kelly goes missing. That's, Nancy, those, some of those photos were taken five days after she went missing. Uh, she was partying at the Fusion Club in, in downtown Orlando, and that's where some of those photos came from, uh, mo more than likely from her photo bucket account. Out to Natisha Lance, our producer there on the scene at the courthouse. Natisha, what happened in court today? Well, Nancy, there were four motions that were heard today in court. The first motion that was heard was argued by... Now, this was about the suicide note. The judge granted that motion, saying that that note will not be released at this time. There were other motions, the bench notes, the defense was also wanting, also the sanction motion that Jose Baez was arguing, wanting sanctions for the state because he said that there was evidence that was taken out of the car. Notified about that evidence. And the last motion that was argued, Nancy, was the forensic evidence from Ricardo Morales' computer. Bombshell in court today, mystery hairs emerged found in Top Mom's car trunk. The same trunk police say hid little Achilles' body for an undetermined amount of time as it decomposed, creating a foul smell noticed by many. Now, Mark Williams says that the defense, Jose Baez, took the state to school, claiming that Henry Lee won up the state. But hold your horses, Williams. Take a listen to Henry Lee a couple of weeks ago. Dr. Henry Lee, what yes. part of the car did you examine? Okay, Nancy, uh, look at the whole car. Then uh, examine the liner, the carpet, the content of the car. Uh, also, I want to take this opportunity to thank the Orange, uh, Orange Sheriff uh, Department area crime scene investigator and detective. They're true professional. So the whole examination took a whole day in a very professional manner. 
we did find some additional evidence which uh, was collected and uh, handed to the Sheriff's Department. Dr. Lee, do you plan on looking at any other evidence in the case, such as the hair samples? Uh, not right now. And, uh, my uh, initial agreement just to examine the car, to look at the car, so I don't know any other evidence. And, uh, of course, depends. it all depends on the schedule. And uh... Uh, Mark Williams, I'm not sure what you're talking about because Henry Lee said right here that the police and investigators for the state were true professionals and did everything by the book. So what exactly do you mean, Williams? Well, I'm, I think Henry Lee was putting on a good show because, you know, he didn't say anything about 17 extra hairs. I think he was holding his cards close to his vest that day.